As I was out for a jog earlier in the morning, I noticed cops and security arriving to the bridge in a panic. It's got like silver bars on it, that's no entry allowed because there was uh, apparently over 100 bodies found. This is probably the scariest place I've ever been to by myself. Did I just freaking hear a ghost in there? Because I'm pretty sure I did. So I am now about to walk onto the haunted Clifton Bridge. I recently heard that the haunted Clifton Suspension Bridge is the most haunted bridge in the United Kingdom. So I decided to jump on a plane and go and investigate. Between 1974 and 1993, 92 men and 34 women fell from the bridge, all suspected suicides. For reasons unknown, the suspension bridge became so busy with people apparently jumping off that in 1998, barriers were installed to prevent jumpers. There's this crazy factual story about a bankrupt grocer, Charles Brown, decided to reduce his outgoing expenses by killing two of his five children in September 1896. He took his two daughters, Elsie and Ruby, to the bridge one night and had them walk along the bridge in the high winds and before picking them up and flinging them over the rails. Somehow, the high winds saved their lives and they fell in the river close to some boats and were quickly rescued with minor injuries. There are a lot of speculations that the military was conducting mind-altering experiments in a nearby base, as well as a tunnel deep in the mountains under the bridge, which I will risk my life in an attempt to take you guys in there. Right, so here's the thing. Many people have legit died on this bridge. A lot of people don't know why so many are attracted to it. Is it because it's high enough to throw yourself off and possibly die? Or is it because there is a paranormal attachment to it? I personally believe there could be something in this mountain that's leading people to come to this bridge and eventually to their doom. Just earlier today, as I was exploring this bridge out for a jog, I literally saw someone attempting to feel his way around these metal wires as you guys can see and as soon as he did so security came rushing in and eventually stopped him was he about to jump we don't know it's possible he was thinking about it as i was out for a jog earlier in the morning i noticed cops and security arriving to the bridge in a panic so i immediately knew i had to get onto the bridge as it may have been someone attempting to jump off and just like always i was right As you guys can see, this man is clearly talking to someone that's not there. Is he seeing ghosts or is he on something or does he need actual help? It's clear that alcohol or some type of drug abuse is a factor here because you can see an entire bottle in his hand. Now it's very strange that the cop did not even try to take that bottle from him. I'm not sure if it's a UK thing where you're allowed to carry alcohol with you in public, but in North America, that's definitely not a thing you're allowed to do. But I think he's, uh, I think this guy's contemplating jumping, like legit. So I'm just gonna document as much as I can. I think it was a false alarm. Yeah guys, they don't mess around here. They have cameras everywhere. The second they see someone acting suspicious on the bridge, um, they come they come after them. And they actually have a number here where you can call someone in case you're feeling like you're, you wanna jump off. It looked like he was on some sort of drug, some type of alcohol, but you know what? I'm very thankful the security that was here was here to stop him. Eventually four to five cop cars showed up and I think they were trying to just patrol the bridge because it was on high alert. Now there are a lot of stories that come out of this bridge, whether it's paranormal, whether it's just just urban rumors a lot of things do happen here when people jump off the bridge it usually has no water in it yet last night when I was here there was no water in this bridge whatsoever and what happens is is when people jump off they don't die from the jump they might break their bones completely become handicapped and decapitated but the thing is a lot of them go in head first and they end up suffocating from the mud because it's very thick they can't get out of it and it almost becomes like quicksand so as you can imagine there are a lot of reasons here to why someone could die why someone could be persuaded to jump off and keep in mind there's also the mental health aspect of it as well if you need help please go get it 
There's always someone out there to help you. I'm here to help you. I'm making this video to be able to help people out that are thinking about doing the unthinkable. If you guys remember a long time ago, I did a video on the suicide bridge in California, in Los Angeles. The video got 2 million views before YouTube decided it was not good for children. So they age restricted it and they blocked the video from getting any more views, which doesn't make sense because I'm out here trying to make a video to help you guys to spread awareness, to help people that are depressed and need help. And we all know I've been doing so from the beginning of time. Since I've started making videos on YouTube, I've wanted to help people with my message, live a little. I did not create this message just for fun or to sell merch. I created because I live by it. I'm out here traveling day and night to give you guys content, to keep you guys happy, and to help change your mind when it comes to things like suicide and when it comes to things like hurting yourself and depression. I want you guys to live just like me and I want you guys to live a little. Yes, this place is a beautiful view. It really, really is. It is probably one of the nicest things I have seen in a very, very long time across my travels being here in Bristol in the UK it is so beautiful and magnificent but it is very dark as well because people have literally jumped off of this bridge now down that way under the bridge way down below there is a tunnel way down there there is a tunnel I tried to get some shots of it on my drone I don't know how I'm gonna get myself down there I really do want to I don't have a car but I think I might actually walk around the entire mountain and walk down this way. Now the word is there's something paranormal in this tunnel. There's something that the military created a long time ago that attracts people to this bridge. From experiments that they did on people which um, have been documented in other videos that I've actually made, we actually went to the legit Area 51 of UK, the entire facility. We snuck in and we rang their doorbell and we tried to get access to the tunnels. Now I don't know if that video has been released by me yet or maybe I'll release it in the future, but in that video the military has come clean about doing mutation and operations and experiments on people that have led him to this bridge like I'm not even making this up area 51 of the UK is here in Bristol just a little bit outside in the countryside is it possible that the military did something to a lot of these people that causes them to come here and jump off the bridge or is it something simply paranormal or is it both Okay guys, jumping into the day, I'm still here on the bridge and I actually just ran into someone that's been a fan of mine since she was nine years old. Hi. And she's 18 now and she still watches the video, so I really do appreciate her and I appreciate each and every one of you guys that come to watch these videos. But she does have some stories about this bridge, so I really want to hear them. So what do you know about this bridge? So there's one story of a girl named Sarah. She was the first person who tried to ever commit suicide on this bridge. So she tried jumping. But because obviously the big Victorian dresses things, yeah, they're made of like sheet metal and whatnot, and they're really big and heavy. Yeah, it basically turned into a parachute and saved her life. Um, but when she landed, she was conscious still and stuff like that. She was just in the mud. Now I heard about that people falling into the mud, and they don't die from the actual fall, but they end up suffocating in the actual yeah. mud. Um, but she was she was still conscious. She knew where she was. Um, she knew her name and stuff like that. She just was in shock from the fall. She lived, but she lived until she was 84, and then. Wow. Was buried in Avon Cemetery. So you jump off this bridge and you end up surviving. Was she paralyzed by any chance? No. No what? broken bones. No broken bones? No. And I told you guys, there's a lot of mud in this water. I think you'd have a better chance of surviving in the mud than in the actual water. So I have a theory about this bridge and I'm only saying this because I actually snuck in to the Area 51 of the UK the other day. I don't know if you guys know about that. It's outside of Bristol. So it's basically, the, have you heard about it? Yeah. So this place is high security and we snuck in there to get into their tunnels. We actually rang their doorbells. They told us to get lost and the cops came. Anyways, long story short, they've actually done experiments on people, which they've actually openly admitted to. And apparently some of these experiments have led people to come to this bridge and jump off of it. I'm trying to figure out, is it something paranormal or is it something actually done by the military? It could be a little bit of both. And there's also a tunnel down below that people have told me there is a paranormal attraction from the... There's a what, sorry? Have you guys ever been down to the tunnel? No. All right, so that's my mission for today. I'm trying to figure out how to get down in this tunnel because apparently there's something in that tunnel that's paranormal. I, it could be just a story, which is what's leading people to also jumping off amongst the other reasons, the mental illness stuff and stress and the depressions of life, which really, really does suck. So underneath, there was 12 vaults discovered. Only two of them have actually been open to the public. What are these things? Vaults. Vaults. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're, they are the same size as three double-decker buses. Oh, wow. Um, that's all. I don't know what's found inside or whatnot, but so I also know the pavement slabs had to be redone. Um, one of them was found to be a manhole. Oh, wow. Which went into the tunnel. 
Okay. And apparently there was uh, either a fake skeleton or a real skeleton found, but no one knows. Nobody knows like what the actual place is used for or how to be used for in the past. So since so since I've been here in Bristol, I've been to a lot of tunnels. Like this whole entire area is just full of tunnels. Now the military base that I went to, like that's close by, there's 25 miles of tunnel. Just keeps going and going and going, which the military says they deny it, but they've actually exposed it accidentally and then they had to come clean with it. And Bristol underneath here is just full of tunnels. We actually took a raft inside of one the other day because um, it was all water. So we took a raft and we just went in deeper and deeper and deeper and it was very ancient. So I don't doubt that there's tunnels in this mountain over here, besides that one that's over there, which is the Bristol, tourism. Bristol was used a lot back in the day for um, smugglers. Yeah. And stuff like that, like smuggling all the goods. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense, right? Like, you, you never know who's died in these tunnels, going in them, who's been murdered in them, and also who, who died actually helping build them as well. There's probably a lot of deaths. By the way, I'm talking to her dad across the camera, so <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera, but yeah, it just looks weird. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to be on camera, yeah! That's awesome. So these guys have so many cool stories to tell us for this adventure, but later on at nighttime, I'm gonna be going down to the tunnel by myself because this is a solo challenge that you guys wanted from me. <laughs> Will I die tonight? You're gonna no. be creeped out. I'll be creeped out. That's You know what? If that's the best thing that would happen, then okay, I'm fine with that. And you're probably gonna hear a lot of noises. A lot of noises. Yeah, I, I, I do have sure. one thing. In the portway, if um, you were somewhere down there or down that way, there's a cave that's been buried up. So i seen it on that side. It's been fired off. But I know there's a cave down there between those bushes. Yeah. So you see that little entrance there. Yeah. Did you see the butt climbers? Oh, it goes up there. About years ago, they used to take people in there for tours to explain what happened during the war and stuff. Because further down there, yeah. they've got a hole in the wall that people used to go inside there and hide from the bombs that were getting dropped during Makes World sense. War II. Makes sense. And obviously they used to take tours in this place to show people around. Yeah, and there's like people um, climbing the mountain there too. Yeah. So and basically when you get to the top, it's just a massive cave underneath this hole that we're building right here. Okay. It's absolutely enormous. So that cave is closed right now. I can't get to it, but I may be able to find a way into the one that's on the bottom. I have some tricks up my sleeves. It's got like silver bars on it. That's no entry allowed because there was uh, apparently over 100 bodies found. So here's the thing that I've learned about the UK. If it says you're not allowed, you still can go in. Yes. Because if cops show up, they don't really do anything. They just tell you to leave. Yeah. Unlike in Canada, they want to send us to jail for doing these things that are so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much you for welcome. being a part of this video. That's so awesome. She's been watching since she was nine years old. She's 18 now. Have you ever thought that one day you would be in a Most RG video? No. No. <laughs> no a lot of people say that. Not. <laughs> well, now you're in it. So when I seen you in Bristol, I was like, I'll get on that. Yeah, there you go. It might happen. You never know. <laughs> you got to follow me on Instagram and watch my stories because if I'm in your area, you might make it into a video. Okay guys, jumping into the night, I'm about to try to get to these tunnels that are apparently causing some of the paranormal on this bridge. I am currently here. The bridge is currently here. That's where I just was. And now I gotta walk all the way down this way, around this, because I don't have a car, and then down to this highway, and somehow make my way down into the tunnels. Now, keep in mind, I am by myself. I have never been to Bristol before, other than these last two days, and I have no clue where I'm going. Now, if you're wondering where my friend Aldo is, Aldo decided to stay home and edit a video. My friend Dan had to go back and see his family. My friend Andrew is with his family. I am solo on this one, so if I get into this tunnel, I'm hoping nothing bad happens, so pray for me. Smash that like button, get yourself that merch. The link is down below. Let's keep moving forward into this video. You know, sometimes it's kind of cool filming on my own, a little bit sketchy because I'm in Bristol. There are some very shady areas here in Bristol, but there are some good areas too, which is where I'm staying. My Airbnb is literally 20 minutes away from here. Uh, 20 minutes on foot. Uh, look at this, guys. I'm by myself trying to give you guys a paranormal adventure, hoping once we get down to the tunnel, like the game plan is, I don't want to kind of like disrespect the dead, the people that kind of jumped off this bridge. Um, I don't want to do any of that disrespect. But what I do want is to see see this tunnel. If I can get into it, and if there's actually anything inside of this tunnel that is causing the paranormal activity. Now, um, off camera, I was talking to Kelsey's dad, and he was telling me that the person that built this bridge, um, someone that was kind of famous and kind of rich, the, and he was an engineer or an architect, the guy that architected the bridge, the guy that made it, he basically died midway during the bridge being um, created. 
So apparently, and this is coming from workers that literally built this bridge, they kept saying during the building and the construction of the bridge, they kept saying that they could see the man that died, the owner of the bridge, on top of the bridge, and at nighttime he would tell them to keep working, keep working, keep working, which is pretty crazy. So even though the guy died, he was still trying to get his employees to freaking keep working. Eventually the bridge got finished, and apparently people till this day continue to see the guy that built the bridge on top of the bridge. How insane is that? So I'm almost at the base of the mountain. I am doing a lot of walking for this video and I would really appreciate it if you guys let me know in the comments below, do you like this type of content? If you do, smash that like button. Oh baby. I am pretty much almost underneath this bridge and that means that tunnel should be somewhere down here. Ooh, how the hell am I gonna get down here? Okay, all right, this is a mission. There's the bridge. And the tunnel should be down this way. That is a high mountain. And that's just to show you guys how big this fucking thing is. If you were to fall down this thing, you're toast. I don't think the camera can literally even show you guys how high this thing really is. It is massive. On the drone shots, it did not look that scary. It did not look that high. This is absolutely bonkers. Imagine dropping off of that. That is scary. Through those bushes is that tunnel that I'm talking about, and obviously there's a bunch of cameras up there. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> All right, this is sketchy. The only weapon I have is my fist. Holy sh! Okay, so it looks like the tales of the tunnel is true. <gasps> oh! Someone's shoes! What the hell? These could be, these could be the shoes of someone that have jumped off the mountain. What the hell? There's the bridge right there, and there's the tunnel entrance right there. Oh god, now I'm scared. Alright, here we go. I don't know if it's gonna be wet. It looks like it's wet. Oh my god. Holy shit. Hello? into this place. Hello? Is walking on these rocks. Okay, that's just a bathroom. Oh, how weird is that? There's a bathroom. This is crazy. I don't want to get my shoes wet. These are the only shoes I brought with me. This is probably the scariest place I've ever been to by myself. Hello? It's my only pair of shoes, what the hell with it? This is what I live for, right? This is what I do. Wow, that goes nowhere. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so terrified right now. Alright, down I go.
medical officer. So this was a military barracks. And they might have actually been doing some type of mutilations on humans here. Whoa, city treasure on the ground floor. Yeah, just another like attic here, but I'm not gonna go up every attic. I can't. Oh, it's gonna get deep. If this doesn't go up, you know, it's gonna get very deep. Fuck, I thought I heard something. Let's check this out. 1928. 1928 box over here. Wow. Interesting. So this tunnel goes throughout this entire mountain. This is unbelievable. So I don't want to spend too much time in here. Hello? So each and every one of these rooms are completely empty. What I'm looking for is for objects. Some type of object that could explain what's happening around here. What is this? Oh, I can't read what it says on this door, but there's no objects here. Education and libraries. Wow, clerk and justices. Look at this old box. Title deeds. This is old military stuff. So that's here from back in the day. And there's a safe at the end of the tunnel. Just to show you guys where I am right now. Well, there might be something up that way. Look at this, there's a safe at the end of the tunnel. What the hell? I hear something moving. Hello? Someone's tried to punch holes through this. Check this out, guys. There are all these old military bombs. What the fuck was that? Hello? Fuck. I'm scared. There are all these old military boxes here. Yo, please God, protect me. Protect me from anything evil. Look at all this. That's creepy. They're all empty, of course. My goodness. I have never seen anything so fascinating. It ends, it's, it just ends. So, this proves the theory. This place might have had some type of experiment done on people. I'm gonna keep the camera away from my face because I need to be able to see what's ahead. But this in here, not on this floor, but somewhere in this mountain, I guarantee you it goes in deeper and they've just sealed it up where that safe was. That safe could have been a door that opens up into the mountain. Um, they could have been doing experiments on people, which was causing people to jump off this bridge. Oh my God. Now, I can't see anything in here that would be the cause of that, but you never know. There could be residual negative energy, something very evil that's doing that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna make my way back outside of this tunnel. I'm gonna see if there's anything that I missed. I possibly could have missed something.
fact that there's a safe at the end of that and no one's been able to open it. You can tell. You can tell no one's been able to open that because it's got dead bolts on it. This is crazy. All right, here we go. Time to head back out. Didn't really see much in there. Hello? Thought I heard something. I could be wrong. Now there are... So I was probably up here just now. That's where I was. Now there are other rooms with ladders that go up like this one, but I don't think there's gonna be anything in them. So I'm not even gonna risk like climbing up. I really only have two hands here. So. Hello? What the f Okay, I'm out of here. I just got the hell out of there. That was f***ing terrifying. I don't know what was in there, but I'm pretty sure I got a voice. I'm pretty sure I heard someone in there. I checked every corner and every inch of this place. There cannot be another human being in that place without a flashlight. It is impossible to see anything. Did I just freaking hear a ghost in there? Because I'm pretty sure I did. I really thought coming outside of the tunnel, I would find two guys standing there, but there was no one there. I heard voices. I'm, per I'm like, I'm not going crazy. I haven't reviewed my footage yet, but I literally did hear voices. So am I going crazy or what? Or is there actually something paranormal in there? I believe there is something paranormal in there. Will I ever go back in there alone? Hell no, that freaked me the hell out.